good afternoon or early evening, however you like. Uh, let's just check camera four for clarity. Let's just see if we can sharpen that image up a bit. That's better. Right, what I'm going to do today. I'm going to put new wires on on this so that I mean look at that it's a real ramshackle affair wasn't it so what we'll do we'll put new wires on here yeah it's a real ramshackle affair that isn't it look at it Of getting your tool in there right and what we're gonna do I mean I don't know why I had to have double wires put on there they only go to the only speaker <clears throat> so what else we want to do we want to do some capacitors don't we so let's turn the solder station on get the, get the capacitors out Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these speaker wires off here. I'm just going to clip them for now. Not that I'm worried about where they go, I know where they go. Just gets them out of my way, I'll put them in my wire box. Just gets them out of the way. And that's the input, we'll probably redo that as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of that because we can, we'll find a better wire for there, for the input. We'll just clip it. I know where they all go, but just clipping them is easier. And that's the power in there, which we're going to address as well. <clears throat> this fuse is for the lights, that's how I can stay where it is. Although I might move that and put it down in a sensible place. Straighten that coil back up, there we go. Right. And if I... This is not what I wanted to do, but... Perfect. Take this off here. Because all of this has got ooh, gunge. Gunge. Get a cloth. Don't fancy wiping that all over my strides. Ugh. There we go. I was going to say it should come off because I've had them off. Because I have you put. I was going to put all that grease, all that solder, uh, sold all that. Uh, Eating cream on there. Oh. Now the that should just screw out now. Don't you hate it when things just don't want to work? Do you know what I mean that's that's not even tight. 
There we are. Uh, this should just pull off. So let's not get it on the heat sink because we don't want to warp or damage the heat sink. We'll, we'll keep it flat. So I'll get that under the board. There we are. Just lift it off. And there we go. Now we can start our job. And the capacitor and this is warmed up. Tell you what, I'll tell you what might be better. <laughs> Just take this wire off here. This red. And it goes to that screw so that's no problem. number three So, let's find the 47 UF, uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll have them at the right voltage, 63 volts. Yeah, just about got them. thing about this if you forget which I haven't there's no ramp over there with one on You know, if you forget, you can just look and you can see. Now, the, the, the reason why I've taken it off the heat sink really is so that I can solder it better. So I'm not, I'm, so I'm not in a funny position with the soldering and with the soldering iron. I'll get that gunge all over my fingers. I'm not changing the two big electrolytics there, they're okay. They're intolerant, uh, a little bit over, but that's not bad. So 
so I'm quite prepared to leave those. The next one is this one. I can walk them out. Right. These green mylar bombs, they're all right. So pluses that side. So negative is this side. See, someone's cocked their legs over on them, so let's take that off because I'll replace that because I cut it to get it out. Alright, let's clean the holes up. Can do a clean this solder sucker out. clean out after. There we go. Right. This one is 10 volts 100 microfarad. We'll test all them after. 10 volts There's the, there's the, there's the 100 mic, a uh, little bit higher rated. These ones are 25 volts. I just think, that Ew. oh I've got gunge I've been gunged I'll probably clean all that off actually and re-gunge it uh, I've got gunge on me Now it always helps to, it's always best to double check your work. And look at that, we just. Hey! Do 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 do. Just double check everything as you do it. You'll not go far wrong. Next one. Forty seven UF. See the, the easiest thing to do is just walk them out and oops. Someone just bent them over. Walk, walk them out.
and that, that was a bit stiff but it's out I probably won't show you doing the other amp because it's exactly the same process, exactly the same amp. And the other one's probably going to be a 47 UF as well. So what we'll do next, we'll just check that is a 47. Yeah. Yeah, they're rated at 63 volts. You're not going to get 63 volts through them. But uh, I'm putting 50s in, that's what I've got. So I do like that sucker, that is brilliant. Uh, thank you for, to uh, Steve from uh, uh, Vintage Electronics, uh, Steve's Vintage Electronics. Uh, long stay workshop for donating that tool very very useful now right, I think it came out that way but because we've got another amp well, I think I'm right but we'll just double check well because there's no need there's no need to Yes, I'm right. The yes, yeah, that one there, and the plus is next to me. So yeah. The main reason why they use 65 to 60 odd volts rating is because that's what they had and they just chuck whatever they had in so uh, been gunged again. Let's just not do that. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I just moved the. Oh, it doesn't matter when on that camera. I move the camera with my hand. And I don't bend the legs over because in another few years somebody's probably going to come behind me and do this again so yeah and that goes in that way yeah that's correct yeah that's right it's positive yeah and the other positive is that one the other one the other electrolytic is I might pull that transistor back out and do a proper job, do a nicer job on them leads. Uh, right, let's pull this one out. You know, it'll be easier. That solder's pretty tight. Yeah. 
Yeah, what we'll do, we'll we'll test those. Get the capacitor tester down. We'll test those. So I'll get another. Oh, I didn't see what value it was there. Probably forty-seven. Yeah, it's the same. See, they they're just made out of genetic parts, really. There's, you know, nothing really. So, and the that goes that way. I will just double check if it doesn't the positive facing me, which is correct. With the amplifier in the correct orientation, that's right. Doesn't hurt to double check, you know, if you've got another amp exactly the same. Always just double check because it's not marked these boards. But just double check. I don't know how long it'll be before I get this done because I want to put new fuse holders in. I want to put small fuse holders so they'll take regular fuses and I don't think I've got any. I'll have to have a look through me fuse holder stuff. See what I've got. My chassis mounted fuse holders. If worse comes to the worse, I can make up a make up some sort of system where I can mount the fuse. Ow! Ow, that dug through my hand. What's that? Something wrong on there. Don't know, it could be anything. Right, I'm not replacing that tantalum because I haven't got any. Now let's get this transistor off and uh, do a bit of work on that. Because I don't like the way that's mounted. I don't know what am I doing? So let's get this TIP transistor off. If, if I have to, I'll order a replacement, but just try and do a better job mm. and I think I've sucked the leg up no I haven't it's there mm. there we go so what we'll do we'll get the heat shrink and stuff out and Ooh, again, I've got a gunge again. Oh, and I'll clean all that off because it's got dust and stuff on it now. So all that heat sink cream will have to be cleaned off and reapplied. All right. So what we want to do here, we want to get the helping hands. Clip our transistor to the helping hands. Get the each rink. Yeah, we'll use that. Uh, no, we'll go for the thinner stuff. Uh, will we? No, we'll go slightly thicker, the reason why because we've got to take into account we're putting solder on there as well so what we'll do, we'll we'll, we'll re-sleeve all the legs Right One Two Three, doesn't matter if they're not exact size. There we go. See, they're not even soldered on straight. They are soldered on, but not straight. 
so so we'll turn that can I turn that so that I can get to it there we go take that off there Do 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 Shall we? I haven't got any of these TIPs. So, and there's nothing wrong with this one. That's not wanting to go on there. There we are. So what we're doing next, we just up a bit, just that's on, and then this one, I'm going to straighten that for now because I can rebend it in position when I need to. So I can slide the heat shrink up here. So we'll straighten that. I haven't got one because I've got to get the tea on soon. There we are. Right, so let's just get a bit more. Solder on the pin. There we are. Rest that on there. Let's have a look at that. towards me. Uh, 
and it's hot. Well, honestly, it cools down quick enough. What are you going to do so that one doesn't catch there? Are you going to slide the one for there? Let's take a bit more of that off. That was near enough, right? Too bad, the leg ain't broke off too bad. Ain't broke off at all on the other one, it's just. See, put them like that, then all we do, we get our. They're good and tight now. Not all I do. Just Now we know none of them are touching. So all we do. Pop it back onto the board. piece of solder and solder that one in position we'll do the good leg first Mm. 
we'll come back to that one. Set. And fully solder that one in. There we are. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Ew, I've got the gunge again. Alright, we need to clean that in a minute because. Perfect. That's the TIP repaired. There we go. That's spot on. So what we'll do now, we'll get the IPA down. First of all, I'll make sure I've got some of that cream. I should have, I should have a few tin tubs of that. There we are. So what we'll do, we'll get the IPA. And we'll get that cleaned off and get some new stuff applied. I won't bother pouring it into the lid, there's no point. I'm not using that cloth. That's one of my good cloths, so I'll use this one. Clean this. I mean, this stuff's gone everywhere. There we go. We'll clean this. Ew, that is nasty. That stuff is nasty. Necessary, but nasty. there now. There we go. Give it a wipe. There we go. Now all we do is we just I'm going to take this wire off here because I'll be able to be able to get it back on anyway. And it looks like it could do it a bit of more solder on it anyway. There we are. Right, that's a lot easier now for me to put the heat sink cream onto. And there's the cream. So I'll end up in the lid. Right, uh, this is eating the paste, this stuff's absolutely horrible. This is not nice stuff. Right, oh we're only oh we're not even I don't have to do the tea till half four, it's only uh, it's only just gone just nearly four o'clock. I did have a little brush somewhere. wood come in handy to paint this stuff on. There it is. See how this works. If not I'll use my fingers. Because you only need a thin coat of it. Just need a thin coat between 
make sure no bristles end up on there because bristles come off this brush just put there there's bristles look look at all them bristles I think it's going to be worth what I'm not going to use that See if it's, see if I managed to, I don't know if it will be alright now with the bristles, yeah, it will be alright, there's some in the pot but hopefully, just try and fish those out, yeah, there's a few bristles in there. The problem with this stuff is it's horrible, it gets everywhere. But, you, but it's necessary. There are those that are probably going to say, we don't need that much. Well, I'm actually taking some off it now, getting it thinner. You only need a thin coat. So I'm actually taking some off now. There we are. Get that there. Let's put that brush there for a minute. Because to be perfectly honest folks, when I've done this I only want to do it once. You know, I don't want to come back to this disco console and I have to do this again. I'm hoping that now I've done because it won't, because this won't be put through the rigors that it was put through when it was used. Um, as a disco console in a professional sort of setting it's not going to be put through that nowhere near it so so basically I think but this is going to last hopefully last the length of the unit the life of the unit even I pull that down, there we go now get my two fingers and my hand under there lift that onto there get my washer <coughs> that washer wasn't off that or that cut washer no uh, shape proof washer even. No. No, it wasn't off that either. So it was best to make sure. Don't think there was any washers on it to be honest. Now when I tighten this on. I will tighten it. Yeah, there's one washer. Had one washer on it, and you'll see one. Yeah, so it's not a push pull unit, this is actually quasi because I 
The transistors are not an MPN and a PNP, they're both an NPN. And it's arranged in a quasi pair. There we go. Now all I do. Tighten that. And I'm not going to turn the nut or turn the screw. That way I don't run the risk of catching a transistor. cleaning. Right. Let's move that wire out of the way that yeah that's on there perfect that and the right amount as well because yeah because it hasn't squeezed out much so we was right to put that amount on. Right, next we want to just get some solder and I might have been better doing this. Let's find something I can prop it up on, maybe this old amp might do it. See there what do you call it, there, that, but that's circuit mount fuse holders. See, there's actually a hole through there where you can actually feed the bloody wires through. But we're not going to do that because we're just going to We're just going to put it back the way it came off. Want to try and do a better job. Let's have a look at that. We're good. on a bit of a yeah I'm happy with that Right, the next one I want to put speaker wires in um, and given that that's no use or no ornament to anything I'm going to strip that and I'm going to use that. three wires in that as well but I only need two of them so I'll leave them that length for now until I I'll strip them for that length for now Now, 
I should be able to just peel that down. Whether I do is another matter. What we'll do, we'll try one wire. We'll try the, we'll pull the earth actually because we don't, I want the brown and blue so I don't want to snap those. So we'll try the, we'll pull the earth if I snap that I'm not really bothered. Although the earth will be used. Tell you what, you do it, shit. Well, yeah, I'm doing this. No fun doing this, it hurts. Let's get this cloth. Let's get this cloth. Yeah, look at that there. There's also folks I haven't even cut into that. Look, there's a break in that. Look at it. Manufacturing defect. I hope the, I hope the other two are not like that because I want those. Now, it's just hard to grip it like that and pull. There we go. We're nearly down now. I mean, that'll probably be enough, but I want to make sure. There we go. I will use that. See what I mean? That's not really very really good, that, that earth. But these ones here should be okay. There we are. I want the brown and the blue. They're, they're only going to be speaker wires. But, by the same lines, saying only, we don't want them shorting and blowing up our amplifier, do we? That wouldn't be a very good day for the amplifier, would it, folks? So what we'll do now, We're going to give the other amplifier the same wiring treatment, I think. So what we need to do next is get the heat shrink back out. Let's see if I've got any at the This one's probably this one. Oops. I'm not really bothered about what colours they are, I mean. Who cares? Right. Let's get the lighter. Most people do it this way. That'll give us enough room to wire up. Just pop them on at the correct intervals. 
so that the about about there so they look good I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Uh, I want this thing to be right, so I'm gonna cable manage it nicely. I think, and we're running out of gas. Can I turn this up? It's already up. That's as high as it goes. the end of that so it looks like we're going to be using the soldering iron to finish off which is a shame because that light was doing such a nice job the soldering iron these marks on it oh well So folks, I'm eagerly anticipating Sunday, absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to the trip to go on. It gives us all a chance to meet and to have a chat. Have a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun. I mean, let's face it. We don't get much fun these days, do we? Yeah, we're just melting the heat shrink down, get it as far as we can get it, make it look good. That's actually not bad. And that way, we'll, that way, we'll end up with wires dangling around. Because what I'll do, I'll pick up some P clips so that. I'll I'll, yeah, I pick up some P clips or something. I used to have a staple gun for doing this sort of for tacking, but I don't want to start tacking down with staples. I think that runs the risk of damaging the insulation. So it's going to be P clips. So I want to make this thing so that basically. I want to get it to a point that although I'm never going to use it that way if I want to take this out and do a disco with it it'll be more than capable of doing that so that's why I want to do it with everything right two more of these should do it. Oh. There we are. That'll look good. And I'll do the same. Put to the speaker. 
because the other amp's got to be come out and be done. Because this one's been out and been done, so the other one will come out. Although it's working, it will come out. See, this was designed so that you could connect four speakers to it, uh, two in the left and two in the right, uh, in parallel. And that's why they doubled up on the wires, but I'm not going to use it like that. So I'm only putting two wires in per channel. And I'm not going to sleeve any more of that. Yeah, maybe one more. Because I might get two speaker wires out of this, yeah. So, I might get two speaker wires out of this. And the other thing that it doesn't have in the console, because this these out the the mixer I'm using is not originally from from the console, it's uh, from a different unit. What I'm doing it's a Citronic, some people call it Citronic. But the man from the man I knew a guy who worked there. So as far as I'm concerned, the man from Citronic says Citronic. That's what it is. Because I knew a guy who worked there. He built work there building the amplifiers for him. There we are. And I think just one more there. And we can call it a day on the sleeving, the shrinking. Yeah. And that's yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. I mean certain tasks take certain time uh, to get done but you have to do them and I'll get some p-clips on order and get them sent uh, get them sent get them get them fitted in and get them fitted and the wires will be nice and secure I might even have some actually right so what we need to do next because we want to solder our wires on so put the heat shrink, put this heat shrink away I probably won't show you doing the other amplifier because is there any point because you've seen me do this one. I would also like to know what the value of them fuses are because I don't know and it isn't indicated in the machine anywhere what value them fuses are. What I'll have to do when I power this up is, that's loose that one. When I power this up is put my meter on 10 amps and see see what current's drawn here and then I can work out what fuse I need. I'll do it that way. I know there is a probably a mathematical way. There is a mathematical formula for doing it and I dare say somebody's going to comment and tell me what that is but I'm not going to do it that way but I'm not going to just chuck any old fuse in there either I could probably look at that fuse and replace them all with that value because that was the, that, that's one of the original fuses that was in the unit when it came 
when it was new. Well, it's done a about when it was new. It's one of the fuses that was in it when I got it. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll get the solder and we'll tin these leads. Do 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 Right, so this is negative. Clean, take that off because we'll clean that. I think that wire's fed through there, it is. And that's negative. that one on, take the positive one off, clean that, that's very very dirty that board, right. come on, there we go, Put some new solder on that. There we go. There we go, perfect. Now for the power supply, we actually have, this is the power supply here, and look at the wire they used. I mean this power supply would never pass today. Um, it just wouldn't. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this off here. There we go. Take that off there. Yes, we have it come off. There we go. Let's get the get the desolder gun. Off. There we are. Now we'll find a piece of two core wire that we can use. A piece of two two core wire, but we don't want it too thin. And I think I found some. We don't want it too thick to be honest. So there we go. Clip that in there so it's nice and neat.
check the time. 4.27. Right. I'm not going to clip this wire down yet. I'm going to leave it the full length. And the nice thing about this transformer, there's a bit of varnish on those pins there, but they'll, they'll, they'll clean up. And the lead coming from the other amp, I can connect it to the bottom parts there, so that's all right. Do this very carefully. Because we don't want to damage the inner insulation. There we go. I'm going to go a bit more on that so I can get a wrap round on it. That's it. And because it's AC, we don't have to worry about which way around it goes. Why did I get that? Was there a hole in there? Yeah. I don't have to wrap it around, I can get it through the hole. So what we'll do, we'll... we will, if we can, no, let's see if we can just warm it up and feed it through. So we get that through there now. Yes. Now we'll turn it round and bring it round. Then what we'll do, we'll <coughs> solder it on. I wasn't going to use two transformers. I could probably power this from one transformer but just stick to how the manufacturers did it. See, if I can get that there, get the hole where I want it, and feed that through, then the other one, the other lead, can go at the bottom. There we are.
turn up there, there we go. Sorted. Now, our earth. Don't have to worry too much about the earth, the earth's on. Let's just connect this back up. in that solder. screws onto the chassis and into the cabinet, the actual machine. Nope. Probably do a better, probably do. Doesn't like staying on there, that does it? I'm probably going to put a new wire on that. Yeah. Because it's just going to keep popping on. Closer to getting that in. Right, well that looks like it's in. Sold the sucker out after. Let's clean that sold that, that tip. 
I did do before, that solder's got a lot of flux in it. Well that was solder. I thought that was a piece of... I thought that was an off-cut off a capacitor. It was solder. That's an off-cut. I think Christine's just turned up. Yep. You got your morning card to get on there? Yeah. No, hang on, I'm just doing a video, let me just end there. Right, I'm going to end that there, because I've got to go and cook the tea, because Christine's turned up. Right, you all take it easy, folks, and uh, join me for the next one. Uh, just about, I think it just about covers it on this anyway. All we've got to do now is test it. Uh, let's turn this off. Uh, we've just got to test it now, really. Anyway, you all, you all take it easy, folks, let's just go to the full thing. Did we lose any cameras? <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> right, you all take it easy folks and join me later uh, for the next part of the, uh, the I can't remember who made this. I did know because it was on the front of the console <laughs> when I got it on the mix, if you want to call it that. Uh, it was on that. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. And I'll catch you later, folks. Thank you very much, and please do the following. Bye for now.